What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Check this out. If you don't have Cash App, download the Cash App app right now. We're going to do a merch drop a little different. Got a lot of merch to give away, baby! No more subbing for merch, guys. It's more expensive. This is going to be less expensive. Do not request me to send you money. I will block you and decline it. I see you guys doing that. This is the easiest way. No more... You can give me subs if you want to support the channel. But no more subbing for merch. There's too much confusion. People not getting their stuff. Etc, etc. The Cash App way, it's cheaper to get the merch. You get it sent out. Your address gets sent to my phone. And to my assistant's phone directly. There, uh, instead of uh, making a list and having to email someone. It, there's none of that anymore. Your size, you, you just, when you buy the merch, you put your size in, the name of the shirt, your address, and it's done. Best way, best way possible. Anybody that's trying to cheapskate the merch will get banned. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. One dollar shirts? What about fucking holiday shipping prices? You're trying to bank, you you're trying to bankrupt me? Is that what you're doing? You guys want... Ronnie Radke goes bankrupt because of Twitch. You said $5 a shirt. It's $7 for shipping during the holidays. Just just let that sink in. It's five, it's like six, seven, eight, nine dollars to make the goddamn shirt. Depending on how many colors there are. Yeah, 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 let's do this. What's up, guys? What's up? You guys like my look at my hair right now. Okay. What's up, stream? How you guys doing today? It's been a minute since I streamed. I've been in the studio every day, by the way. That's why I haven't streamed yet. I'm already getting cash app requests directly to my phone. So what I was saying is for these merch drops, by the way, there's a ton of merch behind me right now. As you can see, ton of merch. I have these behind me. Let's, get, let's bring Willard in here. Willard's my assistant. He's going to be sending these out in real time. One second, let me grab him. All right, this is Jake. We're sending these out in real time. Should we say hi, Jake? What up? All right. Let's... Oh, make sure you're sending money, not requesting money. Oh yeah, yeah. If they're requesting it, they, you block them. Jesus Christ! This thing's ripping. Good God! I'm gonna start saying out the names for the people. Christopher, Jessica. Thank you, Billy. Oh wait, Billy just. Just sent a hundred dollars. You don't want a shirt, man? Okay. Thank you. Um, Roxanne, this is the way. This is gonna. This is so much better than than subbing for this. Anyways, let's talk about people mad at me on Twitter, thinking I'm talking crap about Motionless and White when I wasn't. But now that I think about it, their video is like Popular Monster. Jesus Christ, people, I, I, I downloaded Twitter and went and looked and people were going off on me. I wasn't even talking about them. The hell? Muslim White has been around as long as my band. A as long as I've been around. I, res I respect them for that. I'm not talking crap about Muslim and White, guys. You guys are, these, these Nightmare Before Christmas sleeve plus size Hot Topic models are mad at me. All right, I'm gonna start calling these people out. Angelica, with, thank you. Raquel, Leal. I already know you're doing it, thank you. Kinsey, Autumn, Brianna, Megan, Bernadette. This shit is going off right now. Rachel, Gaking, Emily, Emily, Guy. You guys, look at my stupid hair right now. Soraya said she liked this, so I just kept it. From here on out, this is the way we'll do things. Do things like this. Willard will send it in the, on the same day. We have a, a label printing machine right here. I feel like this is a good way because I don't have to do this. I could just put it up on my Instagram and people would buy it. My merch sells so well on Instagram, like our, our, on the Shopify account, you know, but this is, I think this is like a better way. It's more connection to the artist, to the person. Nobody else is doing this. I'm like the only one, only band guy doing this. I've been doing this since 2018 when I was streaming and I uh, sold so much merch this way. But at the same time, I was an idiot because I would make everyone sub and people were willing to sub and pay extra. Uh, 
because I wanted all my I wanted to have a lot of subs, you know. Um, but then, you know, I wasn't getting all of that money. It just didn't make any sense. And then the shirt was more expensive, and it just didn't make any sense. This is way better idea. I don't know why other band members don't do this. Maybe because they can't. Because the fans won't buy their merch, I guess. I don't know. This is a this is a great idea. It is hot in here. Why is it so hot? Oh my god, it's 74 degrees with the heater on. Turn that bad boy off. I'm ready to listen to your new song on repeat. How do you know it's just one song? How do you know it's not like 20 songs? We need to knock Taylor Swift off the charts. That's gonna be kinda hard to do. That'd be kinda hard to do. She's killing it. She's been killing it for like a decade. It's so crazy. Is that Willard's with a, like, ball sack emoji, Katie? What is that? Just kidding. It's hands. I'm joking. Ridiculous. I don't get how to use it. Kathleen, are you an idiot? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you literally stupid? Stop. I don't get how to use it. Are you literally 97 years old? What is going on? I'm just kidding. You're 50? I was just kidding. <laughs> Still, dude. I'm just kidding. I don't understand. Let me get my glasses to have an ass. Let me get my glasses. Oh, head ass. You don't understand how to use Cash App. It's pretty simple. Push the little money sign in the middle. In the middle. You can go up to the left corner and push this thing. And it will show a camera. And then you point it at the screen. And it'll take you to me. Or you can type my name in. You should react to fan fiction. People write on Wattpad about you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it gross? Let me look it up. As long as it's not, like, disgusting. Ronnie. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie Radke. Wattpad, right? Is that what it's called? What a weird, gross name. Wattpad? Oh, this is in a... This is in a... Why is this in a different language? Weird. English. Okay. Dude, English, please! Ronnie Radke stories. Oh, here we go. What the fuck is this? What is this? What am I seeing here? These seem like the same people that try to cancel me, that write these things. I, I don't understand how this works. Adopted by Ronnie Radke. What the fuck? This, is a, this story is about a 13-year-old girl named Marcy who does self-harm and is obsessed with bands. Nobody ever wants to adopt her except one day adoption center Ronnie Radke comes to adopt her, top the child, sees Marcy and wants to know her. Okay, that's the mistakes. How do you read the full or like get more of the story? It's only like small sentences. Dude, these are so bizarre. What kind of people write this? What kind of people write these things? I kept Ronnie's number in hopes of seeing him again. What in the heck is this, dude? Ronnie kissed me. What? Okay, what? 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 <laughs> what is this? What is this nonsense? Okay, so what date, what year was this written? This is like, Ronnie kissed me one last time before running to his car. I was unable to see his face. I would miss him like hell. I feel like someone I had known for years was being torn away from me. In order to avoid breaking down, I ran through Lauren's doorway and left the scene. Hold on, these are literate, grown people writing this? These seem like literate, grown adults writing these things. The walls were painted black covered in fan posters. 
Who reads this? There's no way 13 year olds writing this. The, the grammar on this is phenomenal. No way. I'm talking like literal pr proof read and like newspaper worthy. This is, this is, this needs to be taken down. I do not like this. So you guys think you could just say whatever you want about me online and then, then write all these weird stories. Oh my God, you weirdos. Who, who writes this stuff? What is this? I don't like this. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hated it. I hate it. Hey Ryan, when is your book gonna sit out? Hey man, that's the longest, this thing's been the most longest production ever, dude. It's hard to write a book, dude. Books take up to three years. Someone, so, oh I said someone said, Soraya said. Soraya's name's so red that it's hard to read on my screen right now. The red ones are crazy. Kinda hurt my eyes, dude. A uh, funny story about Adam Lazar from Taking Back Sunday. People wonder why. People think I just like talk crap about people. I don't. Amy DeStrange. Adam Lazar is such an asshole, the singer of Taking Back Sunday. You know, and, and he's just not as popular as me, and that's why you guys don't know, you guys don't ever hear about him. Because people don't care about him, you know what I mean? They don't care about him in the media and stuff like that. But if they did, then you'd hear all the stories. He's such a dick. He's a dickhead. There's so many bands that tried to fight him before. I'm, I'm talking multiple bands have tried to fight that guy. Um, bands that you would never expect. Nice guys. Bands that are super nice. So I'm not over here just talking crap about people on Twitter for no reason. The guy's a dickhead. He's an asshole. He's not nice. I used to listen to his band when I was younger. I was a kid. I used to... I, I loved that band. I thought they were awesome. You know, uh, until one day we were on tour. This is a funny story. We were on tour. And Derek, rest in peace, Derek, he went to Taking Back Sunday because we were on, on a day off. We are on a, uh, we are on a day off in Utah on our tour. We, it was not a show day, it was a day off, right? So we went, so we went to, um, I didn't go, but Derek went to see them play at a smaller venue. We were playing a big venue the day after. It was fun. It's kind of funny. Uh, a big giant venue that was sold out and they were at a small venue and I guess they heard that we were playing in the town in, in, in Utah t the day after them so he decided uh, Derek went to see them play and he decided to talk crap about me on stage and then Derek sent a video up to me you know I could post the video I ain't gonna post the video but uh it's a long time ago and that's not the first time he was rude to me. He was rude to me. Uh, he tweeted to me when I released my raps, my first rap stuff. He released, he taught, he tweeted talking crap about me online. This is back. This is like 2014 or something like that. Uh, bummed me out, you know. And it made me realize that I I've been rude to some fans, and they'll never forget that. You know what I mean? They'll never forget it, and it makes me really second second take a second and, and think about how I treat fans when they ask for a picture or, you know, if they're not being rude, you gotta, you gotta be really careful sometimes because those fans will always remember that. They'll always remember it. They, you were, you were rude for years. Cause I'll ne I never forgot. I never forgot that. He, he wasn't just rude. He was super disrespectful because talking crap about me rapping and then he was talking crap about me on stage and clearly uh hindsight's 2020 because i'm absolutely destroying him he, he couldn't even be a one of four on my tour and if he was he would have to uh you know never mind i'm not gonna say that but uh you know in hindsight's 2020 I, he was threatened by me that's the reason why he talked so much crap about me on stage you know and um, you know, <laughs> bing, bang, boom. Ah, but yeah, that's the that, that's the short short story of that. He was so rude, and I think it's just because he felt inferior. Because you you see him live, and they're awful. He sounds terrible. He can't sing. He's he's out of key the entire time. You know what I mean? The band sounds like crap. It's like uh, understandably so, man. I mean, uh, you don't see all the really good bands talking crap. And you know what? I talk crap back, but I don't ever just start talking crap about people. Come on, really? So it bummed me out. Anyway, anyway, that was the that was the reason why I said that what I said about Adam Lazar. He's it's not the first time, man. Don't get me started on Burt McCracken from the Use. I almost 
punched that little guy. I almost punched him in his jaw on Warp Tour. He was so rude. I don't know what it is about these. I, it's always the ones that can't sing anymore or something. I don't know if it has to do with their vocals not being as good. I don't know. It bummed me out, though, too, after the used. I guess the used was mad at me because I fired their tour manager. <laughs> Whatever crap. You owe Ryan Seaman 12%. I love the use back in the day. I love their first album. I can't believe that you know you talk crap. I used to listen to Architects. I don't listen to Architects anymore. I listen to one of their albums. But anyways, yes. Uh, if anything that I, uh, if anything I um, learned from Adam Lazara being such an asshole, and that's to remember to treat your fans nice all at, at all times as as much as you possibly can because they're gonna remember it. Twenty years from now, they'll remember that. They'll remember that one moment and they'll always look at you as the asshole or they'll look at you as a nice guy no matter what. So if you're nice to them when they meet you, they're always going to have that in your in their head of how, that's how you are. Even if you're having a bad day. Did you see Ollie Sykes caption a TikTok with don't mess with Ouija boards? No? That's amazing. Is he talking crap? I hate that song by the way. That's my song. You know who else? Uh, Ollie Sykes actually talked a lot of crap on Twitter about me too back in the day. And then I approached him and got in his face and then he apologized. At the AP Awards in 2016, he apologized, shook my hand, literally apologized. I was like, okay, that's a manly thing to do. Thank you. Shook my hand, looked me in the eyes. I mean, what else are you going to do? You going to fight me? No. You know what I mean? So I just don't, I, I don't understand. Like I never understood if you talk crap online, you better like literally swing on me in person. I don't understand. Like, I'm down, bro. I'm down. I'm down. I swear to God. Like, if I say something to you online and, and I see you in person, I'm not going to backpedal. I'm going to I'm gonna be straight up. I'm down. I'm down. Let's go. Come on. It's not going to be like, well, I'm sorry. You know, uh, I was drunk or wh whatever your excuse is. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, you know, and a lot of people think that I start all this crap. And I don't. I don't start it. You guys don't. People don't realize. Yeah, I might be. I have a mouth on me and shit. You know what I mean? I say some stupid shit sometimes. But I'm never like uh, starting it with people. They're starting it with me. Period. That's how it works. Online? Period. Raised by Wolves. Beartooth singer talk crap about me when? That guy's so nice. I think you're mistaken. I would have saw that. And how long ago was that? Ain't no way. Oh, live stream with Craig Mabbitt. Oh, was I in prison still? That dude, Caleb, that dude Caleb is it's too nice. He might have said something. Not in person though. He's so nice. He's a good. He's a nice guy. Yeah, Caleb. That guy is so nice. I've I've talked to him in person. He's a nice guy. Was the hatchet reburied for these upcoming shows? Uh, yeah. I I don't have any problems with Escape to Fate or any of them. I don't. I don't. People still think I have problems with. It. I don't. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we're performing with uh, Beartooth. Uh, Hollywood and Dead. I love those. Those guys are so awesome, dude. I love Hollywood and Dead. They got, dude. Listen, we went on tour with them. They they were the two of four, but they could have been. They're big. They could that that tour was so big, and it's because they they weren't slacking. Their merch sales were high. Um, you know what I mean. Um, so they they did good, but they were nice guys at the same time. I feel like when you're not threatened. You don't have to talk crap. That's that's where that comes from. Jarris Johnson, he's a super nice guy too. Spencer is such a nice guy. All right. Oh shit, it started over. All right, guys, that's it for these. I'll be back with some new stuff. All right. Remember the February tour and Jarris was warming up during your stream? Yeah. I was like, shut up. You guys went crazy with these with these uh, with this merchandise, by the way. And uh, do not abuse the Cash App by sending me messages. I will block you and stuff. So I don't want to block you guys. So please don't, you know what I mean? Request money and all that. I'll block you. Get blocked. And then and then later on, you know, if you if I block you, then maybe later when you want some, you know what I mean? Just don't do it. Uh, the Cash App will not be on my phone. It'll be on Jake's phone. Is why. You want to sub for my micro? <laughs> You're an idiot, bro. All right, 100 subs, I'll send you my microwave. Not kidding. You guys are so funny. All right, man, I think I'm gonna get off of here. I gotta go get something to eat, man. I'm kinda hungry. What's the important thing for a band name? I don't know. It's gotta roll off the tongue. I appreciate you guys, thank you. We'll, we'll keep doing these merch drops and they'll be bigger and better and there'll be surprise ones and all that stuff, okay? This is the best way to do it.
I have all your addresses, so don't be talking crap. I have your address now. I'll see you guys with some new stuff, maybe some new music. Later.